good news well this is the third good news in this week and you could say i'm a bearer of good news ah well i like that name and then you probably want to ask me what is the good news well stay tuned and then you will be surprised to hear that ev i mean electric vehicles about to replace the petrol engine vehicles in africa so the question is is this a good thing for motorists auto industry and africa economy well stay tuned electric vehicles also known as ev is a vehicle that functions by using the principle of basic science electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy meaning there is definitely a conversion of energy which is carried out by a motor in the electrical system in effect well you could say the gasoline or petrol run engine is now being replaced by one or more electric motors to prepare the vehicle meanwhile Please, I'd like, I like you to note that there are various electric vehicles within the EV family. Stay tuned, I will break it down. There is battery electric vehicle, which is an EV that is fully electric runs on a rechargeable battery. Powering an electric motor. And again, we have the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle which is the combination of petrol and electricity and we have other types as well so what type of electric vehicles and vehicles i mean electric cars and vehicles do we produce in africa and you probably want to ask me what is the prospect well stay tuned the Kira EV Smart, a five-seater sedan, is the first EV car produced by Kira Moto in Uganda, in Africa. And it is the first electric hybrid designed and built in Africa. And as mentioned earlier, this model is the configuration of two power sources, petrol and electricity, to increase efficiency and enhance fuel economy. And according to my research, Kira Motors Corporation is a brainchild of Mercury University, supported through the Presidential Initiative for Science and Technology, and is aimed at championing value addition in Uganda domestic automotive industry, and for job creation and diversification of the economy. Well, how do they plan to achieve this? Well, just like uh, Tesla, Kira Moto Management initiate the construction of a much needed automotive plant for the production of their vehicles. Well, Kira Motors Corporation and National Enterprises Corporation signed a memorandum of understanding for the construction of the vehicle, I mean the plant, which is ongoing as we speak. Meanwhile, why the construction of a big Kira auto manufacturing plant is going now? I mean, going on now, Kira management have decided to forge ahead with the production of their vehicles. Obviously, you agree with me, in a temporary factory. So, beside the five sister EV car, Kira Motor also produces buses. I mean, the Kayola solar bus. And this concept represents the next generation of public transport for cities within the region. And it's first of its kind in the African continent. The Kajula solar bus rely on lithium batteries to power an electric motor that is coupled to a two-speed pneumatic shift transmission. The Kajula solar bus will be easier to maintain in, term, in terms of not having to change oil as is done in diesel-powered buses and not having to repair hydraulic lines that run through the conventional buses. And again, those of us who have lived in Africa and those who are still living in Africa knows what I'm talking about. This bus is expected to run 80 kilometers or virtually a fully operational day. More good news. Stay tuned. In another development, 
the Ghanaian car manufacturer Katanga Automobile Company has announced its intention to start producing electric cars in December 2019 and is aimed to conquer the local market and set out an international journey. And according to report, ESCOM and Nissan have joined forces on a three-year research project to study electric vehicles, their charging requirements and characteristics. With this, the national energy supplier and the car maker hope to prepare for a entry of the electric vehicles into the South African market and gain insight into their effect on national grid. So, what is the prospect and challenges of EV car in Africa? Hmm. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. I got your back. Well, according to my findings, based on studies carried out, Africa is urbanizing faster than any other continent at a rate of 4% every year as compared to global average of 2%. Well, in effect, the rapidly growing urban population has been and will continue to put pressure on infrastructures like transport and energy. Again, 90 to 96% of most African countries from Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria, all the way to Togo, South Africa, etc., drives petrol engine vehicle. And this creates a cost burden for citizens and a physical burden for all these countries. So that explains why oftentimes to protect motorists and commuters from the ever increasing fuel prices. Some African countries like for instance the Kenya have always initiated and executed the fuel subsidies to help its populace. That said, you see, as I pointed out earlier, larger percentage of African motorists depend on petrol engine. But uh, you will agree with me, they deserve more. I mean, they deserve to have a more reliable and cost-effective alternative. That is where electric car comes in to fill in the gap. Therefore, Vehicles powered by electricity and running on battery charge storage offer a potential solution to this problem. And not just that, there are advantages of having EV cars. For instance, no petrol, you don't need petrol, you don't need diesel or oil, no exhaust, I mean, no air pollution, no clutch or gears, and then no spark plugs, no roaring noise or vibration. You see what I mean? So many advantages here. Well, however, with the ongoing development in the EV auto industry in Africa, in my opinion, it looks promising with some countries like Uganda and Ghana already producing or about to produce EV car as a better alternative to petrol cars. And again, you will agree with me. I mean, considering all that I've said, you will agree that this is a paradigm shift that is most needed in the African economy. Why the major challenges has to do with energy storage? I mean, energy storage bank, if you like, that will allow electricity to be saved at different times of the day for easy access and usage. So, the big question, I mean, the question you probably want to ask is, why am I saying all this? So, why how does it concern investors? Well, this is how it concerns us. The likes of Kira Motors and Katanga Motors should initiate their IPOs, I mean, public offering, get it listed in the Johannesburg Stock Exchange or Nairobi Stock Exchange. And then, or if they want to go for the American Stock Exchange, then investors like you and me can buy the shares and own a part of these companies. And then, here comes the best part. Subscribe, like, and comment. And always remember, the goal here is to generate wealth.
build companies and create jobs bye now see you soon